Hey, my name is Felipe and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to be working with automatic number plate recognition. And let me show you exactly what you will be able to do with today's tutorial. You can see that not only we are detecting exactly where the license plate is located in this car, but we are also extracting exactly the value for this license plate. We are extracting ONY4A and this is exactly the text in this license plate. Also, we are going to be using ECOCR, which is a Python library very commonly used to read text on images and in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to use it. So this is going to be an amazing project and let's get started. And the way we are going to work on this project is by combining two of my previous projects. Let me show you exactly what are the projects we are going to combine together in order to work on today's tutorial. And we are going to uh, use the previous project where I show you how to run Yorobi 3 from OpenCV and also the project where I show you how to implement a license plate detector in Python. These are the two projects we are going to use on today's tutorial and we are going to make some edits on top of these uh, two projects and we are going to build our automatic number plate recognizer. And this is a very common practice in software development. Remember, you don't want to invent the wheel. When you are solving a problem, please make sure you are using all the available resources you have in order to find the easiest solution and the best solution. In this case, we are going to use two of my previous projects because this is the easiest way to solve this problem with the resources we have available. So these are the two projects we are going to use. And let me also show you the data we are going to use in order to test this uh, script, in order to test this uh, project. And these are some images I have selected and that we are going to use in order to test the performance of today's algorithm in, in order to show you the performance of today's project. You can see that these are all images from cars, from completely different cars, from completely different countries, and these are all the uh, cars and the license plates we are going to detect and recognize on today's tutorial. So let's start with this project and the first step will be to clone uh, one of these two repositories. We are going to clone this repository, so I'm going to select this repository's URL and now I will go to PyCharm, to a PyCharm project I created for today's tutorial and the only thing I'm going to do is to type something like git clone and the repository URL. You can see that now I have cloned this uh, repository. So the first thing we should do if we are going to work on this repository is to clone, uh, is to install the requirements for this uh, repository. So what I'm going to do now is to cd into this repository and I'm going to do something like pp install minus r and requirements. Okay. Please remember to uh, install all the requirements, otherwise nothing is going to work. <laughs> and now I'm just going back to uh, here and this is the file we are going to use uh, the most. This is a file we are going to use in order to build our automatic number plate recognizer. And this is the uh, file we are going to execute in order to make this project up and running. The idea is that we are going to take this file as a baseline and we are going to make a few edits in order to uh, fit this file to today's tutorial. So the first edit we will do is to edit the model we are going to use uh, to detect objects because remember this uh, previous project, this previous video it was about running Yolo v3 from OpenCV and we were using a model which was trained on Coco, on the Coco dataset. So uh, in this case we want to detect license plates so we definitely need to edit this model and this is where we are going to use the other repository, the other repository I show you we were going to use in today's tutorial because what we are going to do is to use the model from this repository, the model from this project, and we are going to run this model from the other project. That's basically the idea of what we are going to do. So we have three files which define our model and what I am going to do now is to uh, download these files but from this uh, other project, from the project of uh, running the license plate detector. So I am going to this repository's uh, github and I am going to download the weights. And in order to download the weights, the only thing you need to do is to follow this URL and then you just have to download. 
Okay, this is going to take a few seconds. Please notice that we will need three files in order to make this edit, in order to uh, edit these three files which define our model. So we have already downloaded or we are downloading the weights, but let's continue and let's download the other two files uh, too and then we, just, uh, we can just replace everything at once. Now I am going to the download the configuration file which is another file we need in order to make this uh, to work and I'm just going to select the file I'm going to raw and then I'm just going to do something like wget and this file URL okay and then what I'm going to do next is to do exactly the same but with the classes names so I'm going to raw this will be a very easy file to just create because it contains only one word or only one sentence but let's just do it like this because it's going to be easier so i'm going to only get the classes names and that's pretty much all okay so i have downloaded these two files and also the weights file and now let's see how we uh, locate these files into this uh, project structure in order to make this work the first one will be the configuration file and i'm going to put it exactly in this location which will be model and then config or actually cfg so i am going to the home directory which is where i have downloaded these files and i'm going to select this configuration file uh, and i'm going to put it here in the repositories location which is to this tutorial code and then just here cfg okay and i'm going to rename it slightly i'm going to remove this uh, dot one and that's pretty much all so i'm going to copy the file name and then i'm going here and then it's just uh, replacing the file name so that's pretty much all in order to uh, specify the first one of these three files the file which represents the configuration file now let's do exactly the same but with the weights file i need to go to downloads uh, I'm going to uh, copy this file and now I'm going to wait and I just uh, paste this file. I'm going to rename it so uh, I, I mean I'm going to copy the file name so I can just uh, paste it here and that's pretty much all. Now I have specified what's the location of the weights file. Now I need to do the same but with the classes names. So I am going to home classes names and then it's just I am going to put it here and I see that the previous one is called class names so I'm just going to I'm just going to rename it so it's exactly the same okay uh, okay and that's pretty much all for this file too now I have specified the three files which represent our model the configuration file the weights file and the class names and what I am going to do now is just test how it performs let's see if we can run one of these two repositories but with the model from the other repository from the other project let's see what happens uh, so i'm just going to press play and obviously i need a uh, data so i'm going to select one of the uh, one of the images i show you uh, for today's tutorial i'm just going to use for example the first one of these images which is something like this okay let's see what happens i'm going to press play and we have a, a, a thing with the uh, text we can see that the text is huge but it doesn't matter we, we we're not going to use the text anyway so what i'm going to do is just uh, i'm going to comment the text because we don't really need it we we already know that uh, license plate it's, it's the only object we are detecting so we don't really need to uh, write the text of what's what is it that we are detecting because we already know we are only going to be detecting li license plates so i'm going to execute it again now i am commenting this file and you can see that we are detecting something the detection is not working 100 properly but it doesn't matter we're going to fix it in a few minutes and what we need to do now is to start making some edits in order to make this uh, fit to our today's tutorial in order to fit this script to the project in which we are going to be working today. The first edit I am going to do is regarding this, um, how we are running this file, because 
Uh, this file, the only thing it's doing is it's running an individual image. We are only executing this detector on an individual image. But we want to run this file on all the images in this directory, so maybe it's a much better idea to just uh, do something like a for and just iterating the same file in all the images at once. So I'm going to do something like that for. I'm going to uh, define a directory which is input directory and input directory will be the location of my data which is, which is this one, right? Something like this. Okay. Then I'm going to say for j or maybe for image name in uh, os list dir input dir. I'm going to say image paths will be os path join input dir and image name okay and then i'm just going to do something like this and i'm just going to delete this uh, sentence okay now everything should work okay now we are iterating in absolutely all the images in our input directory now the next edit we will do is uh, going to this line which is where we are converting our image into a blob because if you remember this previous project we need to convert our image into a blob which is another format for our image and we're going to do this slight change instead of doing 320 times 320 we are going to say this will be 416 times 416 long story short we only need to edit these two numbers and we need to make this 416 times 416 that, and that's basically because that's the way this model works that that's the way this model was trained and let me execute exactly the same process now that we have edited this um, this iteration now that we are iterating in absolutely all the images in this directory and also now that we are making this change regarding the uh, regarding these two values, regarding these two numbers. And you can see that now, I'm just going to iterate in all the images, we are getting a very good detection. I'm just going to enlarge it a little so you can see we are getting a very good detection of our license plates. I'm going to show you the first license plate I was detecting previously. Uh, so you can see how it's detecting this license plate now. So I'm just going to iterate on all of them until I reach that one. You can see everything is detected super, super properly. And this was the license plate which we originally were not really detecting super, super properly. We have now fixed this issue and that's basically how we did it. We need to uh, make this adjustment here. It's just changing the size of the input image. So anyway, you can see that now we are detecting exactly what's the location of the license plate of absolutely all the images in our input directory. So this is a very good news and I'm just going to continue to the next uh, step. I'm going to stop this execution and now let's continue uh, adjusting our script. We have already removed the text drawing because the, it was a little messy and we don't really need it. And what we are going to do now, because um, in this script, the only thing we're doing is just detecting the objects, all the objects we are detecting, in this case, only license plates, and then we are drawing a rectangle. But what we need to do is to define a new object, which is license plate, and this will be a crop from the original image. So this will be something like image. And I need to specify the... Uh, I mean, let me do it first and I'm going to explain it in a few minutes. I'm going to say this will be from here to here. And then from x1, which is this value, to this other value. And this is three channels, so this will be something like this. Uh, let's see if this is okay. Something like this. Something like this. Okay, I think this is okay. Uh, so what I'm doing here is just uh, taking the image, the image I am loading from my input directory, and I am just uh, cropping this image so we keep only with the license plate. So let me show you how this works. Now I am going to plot the original image, but I am also going to plot the uh, license plate. So I'm going to do something like plot figure. And this will be exactly the same, but now I'm also going to plot 
the license plate something like this okay and now let's see what happens i'm just going to press play again and i'm going to execute a couple of um, only a couple of uh, images but we have an error let's see why uh xc oh, something like this now everything should be working fine yeah so this is for example the first one of our uh, images and our license plate you can see that we are cropping exactly the location of the license plate we are also cropping the rectangle maybe something i can do is to do this crop before we are drawing the image so now everything should be cleaner right now we are we should be uh, cropping without the rectangle no but what i need to do is to make a copy because otherwise this will not work okay now yeah now everything's okay so this is a little confusing but it, it, it doesn't matter just remember that when you are working with images in opencv you are always working with references so for example in this case license plate is a reference to image so whatever it happens to image later on on the script will be reflected on license plate right this is not uh, an object but this is a reference to this object so it doesn't matter it's just uh, you have to be a little careful but just copying this file will be enough just uh, calling copy will be enough for now so anyway this is uh, what we have so far which is the original image and then a crop with the license plate it let me show you a couple of additional images and you can see that in all cases it's exactly the same in this case we have uh, the original image with a rectangle on top and then here we have the uh, license plate which we have cropped from our image Okay, now let's continue and now it's the time where we are going to start decoding what's the text in our license plates. So what I'm going to do is to use an additional library which is called ECOCR. So I am going to the requirements file. I have installed the requirements um, when we were starting on this tutorial and I'm going to specify a new library which is ECOCR. I don't remember quite well what's the version we're going to use so for now i'm just going to specify the library name and later on i will specify the version so i will go to the terminal and now i'm going to inst install the requirements again and doing so i am going to install the uh, the new library which is ecocr this is going to take a few minutes but for now let's just continue adding this uh, library and i'm just going to show you how we're going to use it so i'm going to import ecocr which i need to do here in order to make it pp compliant so i'm going to say import ecocr and then I am going to use it like this. The first thing we need to do is to create a new object which is going to be our OCR reader. And this object I am going to call it reader and reader will be uh, ecocr dot uh, reader and i need to specify the language we are going to use that i'm going to specify english now please notice that we are reading license plates and license plates are basically numbers and characters so in this case it will not be that important what's the language we we use I will say that's going to work pretty much the same way with whatever language we use, but uh, I'm just going to use English for simplicity, but we could also select other languages and I think it will work just fine. Okay, so I have created this new object. I'm going to put this object here before iterating in all the bounding boxes. Uh, and what I'm going to do now that we have a crop or image, now that we have crop or license plate, the only thing I'm going to do now is to call or reader and I'm going to call read text. And I need to specify the image we have crop, right? This is our license plate, sorry, this is what we need to specify, the license plate. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is to make sure everything works properly. I'm just going to execute this code and let's see if we have an error or not. We are having this print now because it's only a message saying, hey, if you run this in a GPU, it's going to be way, way faster, but it doesn't matter. It's going to work anyway. So, okay, we didn't have any errors, so I guess everything is okay. Okay, so we are reading the text in license plate and let's see what exactly we are getting here so what i'm going to do now is just printing 
this output because I want to show you what's the structure from the output we are getting from ECOCR. I'm going to show you exactly what's all the information we are getting when we are reading a license plate. So let's wait a few seconds. Now we are going to see the first one of four prints of our figures and uh, we are just going to mind the text which will be this output. Okay. You can see that this is the license plate we are trying to read with ECOCR and this is the output we are getting. Let me run make this a little uh, larger. And this is pretty much the output we are getting. We are getting some values, which seem to be something like, uh, I don't know, some values. And then we are getting some text and then we are getting a number. And the way we are going to uh, read this information, the way we are going to understand this information is uh, like this. So ECOCR, not only it's uh, reading text, not only it's telling us what it says in this image, but it's also telling us the location of all the text it finds. And this, uh, this is the location of the text it has found. This is the bounding box of the text it has found. You can see that this looks like if it's uh, like a bounding box because we have two coordinates for every one of these elements and we have exactly four elements so this could perfectly be a bounding box and this is actually a bounding box and now let's continue to the next element where we have something that looks like text and if you take a look at the image we are trying to decode you can see that this is very close right because this is bp 199 sn and you can see that the text we are decoding is exactly the same but with a question mark instead of the p and then the other value the last value in this uh, output is the confidence score for uh, this text so ECOCR has detected something, has detected some text. It, it's telling us exactly what's the location for this text. And it's also telling us what's the confidence value for this detection. Because remember, every time we work with machine learning, with different type of machine learning models, we are always going to have something that's a confidence value, a confidence score. And uh, it pretty much means how confident our machine learning model is for the detection or the classification or the prediction it's currently doing, right? So ECOCR is telling us that it has found this text in this location and this is the uh, confidence value for this detection. This is how confident ECOCR is regarding this detection okay so uh, now let's continue and this is only to show you the output we are getting from ecocr what i'm going to do now is to iterate in these uh, objects because uh, in this case for example we have only found one element but if i show you a couple of other uh, images you are going to see that in some cases we have more than one detection because we have uh, other uh, bonding boxes containing text so let me show you let me show you how it looks like i'm going to print it again i'm going to print output and i'm just going to iterate in all the images there are a few images in which we are going to have more than one output and let me show you exactly how it looks like in this case we only have one bonding box we only have one uh, text box but but let's see what happens in other images in this case we are getting something for example in this case you can see that we are getting this which me which is ag3970725 and if i show you the license plate we are basically reading the uh, license plate information it's not accurate we are going to make it more accurate in a few minutes but this is basically this right and if I scroll a little to the right, you are going to see now we have Graph Automobile AG and that's basically the text that's below the license plate. So uh, this object, this output object, this could contain more than one element depending how many text box are there in our license plate. So what I'm going to do is to do something like this. For out in output, I'm going to ungrab all the information and I'm going to say something like this. Um, I'm going to say this is bounding box. Uh, let's say this is text bounding box, text and text score, right? 
and this will be out okay and now what we are going to do we are going to print the, the text and also the score we're not going to print the bounding box because we don't really mind where the text is located the only thing we need to we need to know is the what's the text what are what's the value we are reading where the coding and also what's the confidence value this is very important and i'm going to show you why in a few minutes so now i'm just going to iterate in all the images and now we are going to mind the performance now let's see what's the performance how accurate it is in each one of these license plates so uh, this is the first one you can see that we are reading b question mark 199 sn and you can see that this is uh, it's somehow accurate we already noticed that this is not 100 percent accurate but it's like uh, it's like okay now let's continue let's see exactly how all the license plates are being decoded and and then we are going to continue and we're going to improve the performance a little so in this case this is our license plate and we can see that we are decoding ag 397 and if we look at the license plate it's pretty much okay it's pretty pretty uh, accurate but we are reading a 5 which is not anywhere in this license plate right we are just it seems we are decoding this symbol as if it were a 5 so it doesn't matter it means we are making a mistake now let's continue and let's see a couple of our examples let's see how they are being uh, decoded in this case we are decoding this license plate which is wpx568 and we are getting an mpx568 so this is not accurate at all this is a, a mistake we are mistaking the w by an m and then we are reading the text below and this is pretty well right it's toberg's bill which is pretty well and then hella bagen yeah everything is okay but we are making a mistake here in the w so you can see we, we could continue looking at our examples and basically you will notice that everything is working pretty well but we have some very very minor mistakes so uh, now we are going to fix it now we are going to improve the performance and this is how we are going to do it so i'm just going to stop this execution and i'm going to show you what are the changes we are going to do so what we what we are doing so far is just taking our image and making a crop and this crop with its or license plate what i'm going to do now is to convert this license plate into grayscale and let's see if this help us in decoding a more accurate text so what i'm going to do is uh, cv2 convert color i'm going to take my license plate and then cv2 um, color bgr to gray right and this is let's say this is license plate but uh, gray okay and let's see how it performs now let's go one step at a time and let's see how it performs now i'm now i am uh, feeding read text with the gray license plate and let's see how it performs let's see what happens i'm going to press play again i'm uh, printing the text and also the confidence value for all of our detections and let's see what happens and you can see that now for the first one of four uh, license plates you can see that now we are getting a good detection now we are getting bp 199 sn so remember we used to have a question mark here uh, in the in the bp and now we have a very accurate detection we have uh, uh, exactly what's the character we should have but please notice that we are decoding this text with a very low performance we are getting a 0 0.39 accuracy and that's not really high at all right that's the only thing we should notice from here now let's move to the next one and you can see that now uh, in this license plate we used to have an error regarding the we were decoding an additional five and there's not any five at all and you can see that now we have fixed this issue too so it's ag 397 0 so everything is working fine and we are also getting a very low performance we are getting a 28 percent accuracy let's take a look at a couple of other examples uh, in this case we are not fixing the issue because we are still decoding m px instead of wpx so uh, yeah in this case we have not fixed the error 
and let's see only an additional example let's see how it performs and uh, now then we can continue okay we have uh, we have many things going on here we have many things i'm going to explain exactly what's going on uh, later on but let's focus on the license plate which is this number and you can see this is 2016320 and actually this is a mistake because it's 2016390 so we are still having some issues and what we're going to do next in order to improve the performance of this uh, reader is to create a new object which will be license plate threshold and the way i'm going to create this object is by calling cv2 threshold so i am going to call the threshold function from uh, from uh, opencv and i'm going to input the grayscale license plate and i need to specify a few numbers one of them is a threshold which i'm going to set in 64 and then another value which is uh, going to be the value at which we are going to uh, take all the values which are higher than 64 and then i need to define another value which is cv2 thresh and let's start with binary i'm going to make it in two steps so the first one will be to set this in cv2 thresh binary okay so remember how threshold works we are thresholding our image into uh, two different values we are specifying a threshold which is in, in this case is 64 all the values from grayscale license plate which are lower than 64 are going to be zero and all the values which are higher than 64 are going to be 255 so let's see now how it performs and in order to have like more information uh, available to see exactly what's the transformation we are doing to our license plate i am going to make two additional plots which are the grayscale license plate and also the threshold license plate so this is what i'm going to do and let's see now what happens we are doing exactly the same process now we are going to print the uh, the text which we are decoding let's see what happens oh this actually we are getting two outputs from here so i'm, go I'm going to say something like this i'm going to say something like this because we're not really going to uh, use this or value so yeah this is just the way this function works which we are getting two outputs we are not getting only the the, the threshold of the image we are getting an additional output so yeah but we are not going to use it so this is going to be just fine so let's see how it performs and you can see that now we are getting a uh, other performance now we are getting a much better performance and uh, the first thing we should notice is that this is the image we are decoding now this is a threshold image we are decoding you can see that we are uh, this image looks very well the, if this is the image we are going to use in order to read the text in order to decode the text of our license plates this looks very 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 well this looks very uh, very proper i'm sure we are going to have a very good detection from here and if i if we look at the uh, text we are reading you can see that this is actually perfect bp 199 sn so this is exactly what on our license plate is perfect and now we are doing with a very high accuracy now we are having a very very good performance so in the case of the first uh, license plate we are having a very very good performance and doing our threshold was a very good edit <laughs> um, and now let's continue to see how it looks like for other images from other license plates and you can see in this case we are taking this image this license plate this is the threshold of the image and this is the performance we are getting we're mostly going to focus on the license plate itself we're not really going to mind the other text that could be on the license plate so the the numbers and the characters on the license plate itself it's okay it's ag 39 70 72 so everything's okay we are detecting this number with a very low performance so that's not a very good thing but let's continue and let's see what else is going on in our other images if we look at the next image at the next license plate you can see that now we are still having some misdetections because we are uh, decoding the license plate as hpx 
<laughs> HPX and it's not HPX, it's WPX. So we are one step closer, everything is working. I would say everything is working a little better, but we are still not getting the performance we are aiming to. So the edit I'm going to do now is instead of doing the traditional thread holding, instead of doing the thread holding we were just doing, I'm going to do the inverse thread hold. And the way the inverse thread hold works is that now every pixel that's lower than 64, we are taking it to 255, and every pixel that's uh, higher than 64, we are taking it to uh, zero, to black. So everything is going to be black or white, every single pixel it's going to be either black or white, but we are reversing the orders of the black and the white. Now everything that used to be black is going to be white and the other way around. That's the only, thi that's the only thing we're doing, that's the way the inverse threshold works. Everything that's lower than 64 is going to be white and everything that's higher than 64 is going to be black. And doing this uh, edit, you can see that now this is the image we are decoding, the threshold image, we are getting exactly the same performance in this case, but now the accuracy is a little higher. If you remember in the previous case, I think it was uh, 86% and now it's 89% and exactly the same text. So in this case, it's working a little, a little better. And now let's see what happens in the next image. So let's wait a couple of seconds. In this case, we can see that we are still decoding the text. We are decoding a very uh, proper text. So it's AG397072. So everything's okay. And we are doing it with a 48% accuracy. It's not a really high accuracy, but it's okay. It's, it's going to be fine. So now let's continue. Now I'm going to show you exactly how all the license plates look like. And let's see the next one. The next one is a license plate that we were having issues. And now you can see that not only we are not having any issue because we are detecting exactly what's the text, right? We are detecting exactly the WPX568, but we are doing it with a very, 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 very high accuracy. We are doing it with a 99.6% accuracy. So that's pretty, pretty high. And you can see that the uh, text that's like below this license plate, the Toberg's Bill Hella Bagen, it's also kind of well decoded. Now it's Hella Bigen. But please remember that we are using the English version of EC ECOCR. We are using the English uh, model of ECOCR. So uh, if we were using maybe the German model, maybe we were having, maybe we will have a better. Uh, classification here. Maybe we will have a better detection here. So yeah, but it doesn't really matter. Now we are going to focus on the license plate itself and I am talking about the numbers and the uh, characters in the license plate itself. We are not really going to mind all the additional text. Okay, now moving on to, the, to this image, you can see that now this was another image which we were having some mistakes and in this case we are detecting white which is this uh, text and we're also detecting 2016390 it's perfect and we are having some additional detections which seem a little strange we are detecting something like QSD, which doesn't really make any sense and this 499 491 which is not having making any sense either so uh, what's going on here is that as the license plate we are detecting you can see it has some text which is uh, not English, which is Arabic text. We have these Arabic characters. You can see that now uh, this noise we are getting, these misdetections we are getting, these words which don't make absolutely any sense whatsoever. It's ECOCR trying to understand this code, these uh, characters as if they were English. That's uh, what's going on and that's why we are having this uh, errors. That's why we are having these issues. But that's not going to be something very easy to fix. I'm going to show you later on. Now let's focus on the license plate itself. We are uh, detecting exactly what we should be detecting. So this image is working properly as well. Let's continue. I'm just going to iterate in the images we have left and let's see how they perform. And at the end of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix that noise we were having with that very strange noise regarding the other image. Now you can see that we are also uh, detecting exactly what's the text in this license plate, which is O, N, Y and 4A. So everything is okay. 
And please notice we have an additional character in this license plate, which is this car, but that's not really affecting our detection. We are still decoding everything super, super properly. So let's continue. We have only a couple of images left. Let's see how they perform. In this case, we are also having a very, very good uh, performance. We are detecting exactly what's the uh, content in this license plate and we are doing it. We, I mean, we are de detecting 300 SL 1957, which is exactly um, the content of this license plate. And we are doing it with a 99.9% .9 accuracy, even higher. It's like, like a 99.98% .9 accuracy. So this is a very, very, very high confidence value. And this is a very, very, very good performance for this license plate. Now let's continue to the next uh, example. I don't know exactly how many uh, license plates we have left, but it's only going to be a few. In this case, you can see it's exactly the same situation. We are detecting uh, b 8 hm which is exactly the information in our license plate. So it is another example of a very good performance. And uh, now let's continue to the next example. Okay, in this case, maybe I can do something like this. So we can always look at the entire information. Uh, I'm just going to do like this. So we can see the VGR, the grayscale, and the uh, and the threshold image. And you can see in this case, it's AR, ARL333, and that's exactly the information we are getting here. And also, please mind the accuracy. It's a very, very high accuracy. It's a 99.6% accuracy for ARL and 99.98% accuracy for uh, 333. So everything works super, super, super properly. Now let's continue, and I'm just going to uh, close all these windows, and let's see how many examples we have left. In this other case, you can also see we are having a very good performance. It's MER4169, which is exactly what we are getting. So I'm just going to close these windows and, and we are going to continue. So we move a little faster. You can see that we have definitely solved this problem. We are having a very good performance on all four images. And uh, let's see in this one, we are getting, this is the license plate, which is 8117MP7. And if we look at the threshold of the image, which is this, this one uh, you can see that we are getting exactly this is a, a, a picture which is very very easy to read and we are getting by 8 and 8117 mp7 so this is exactly the information we have here and if i'm not mistaken that was the last example and that means we have pretty much completed yeah we have pretty much completed our iteration and now let's uh, do something in order to fix the issue we were having in one of our images what we're going to do is to filter by the confidence value because if you notice the uh, those words in which we were having some errors or actually the noise we were having in that image we can very easily filter that noise by doing something like only printing the uh, texts which are which confidence value is greater than a given threshold, which I'm going to set in 0 0.4, right? We are only going to print, we are only going to uh, consider valid all the text which has a confidence value which is greater than 0 0.4. And now let's see super, super quickly what's the performance we are having. In actually in, in, in that one, in that picture, we were having some issues. So I'm just going to uh, fast forward this until I reach to that image. And you can see that now we have a very good performance. Now we are detecting exactly the words we want to detect, which are Q white and Chu 201690. We are filtering all the other words, all the other detections, which have a confidence value lower than the threshold we have defined, which is 40%. So we have an absolutely perfect performance. Everything is working super, super properly. And this is going to be all for today. This is how you can build an automatic number plate recognizer using Python and OpenCV. And this is going to be all for this tutorial. So if you enjoyed this video, I invite you to click the like button. And I also invite you to subscribe to my channel. 
My name is Felipe, I'm a computer vision developer and in this channel I make tutorials, coding tutorials, which are exactly like this one and I also share my resources and the resources I use as a computer vision developer so if these are the type of videos you are into, I also invite you to subscribe to my channel. This is going to be all for today and see you on the next video.